All right, this is Danimal Rabra coming at you with a little stone stack for sunset. Um, these Facebook videos seem to be doing pretty good, so I'll keep doing them and keep sharing them if you love them. But um, I guess I'm delusionally optimistic enough to think that uh, maybe people care what my uh, some of my philosophies on life are. So I'll I'll give my freedom to self to sh I'll give myself the freedom to share. And I'll give myself the freedom to stumble on my own words, mess up a little bit, you know? If we wait for everything to be perfect, then we would never get anything done. There's a famous quote that um, I first heard by Tim Ferriss, tomorrow is a disease that will take your dreams to the grave with you. But anywho, you can probably see those surfers in the background. Um, so let's talk about how surfing, how my life and surfing are tied together. And uh, firstly, Let's just say in my life, I want to be a really good surfer. And that's not just uh, physic, that's not just literally, but it's also metaphorically. Meaning that the best surfer is not necessarily the surfer that can surf one type of wave with the highest level of mechanics and maneuvers. But in my opinion, and hopefully yours as well, the best surfer is the surfer that can have the most fun in all type of conditions. And that's basically how I see life and what I'm doing in my lifetime is I'm trying to get my board ready for anything to come, whether it's the perfect glassy barreling tubes that you see on posters day, or if it's big, stormy, and cold outside. Will I be able to ride that wave of life? Not only ride it and survive it and thrive it, but have a good time during it. And uh, that's something my grandma is been one of my biggest inspirations for it um, and you might see from the post below that she's being challenged physically right now quite immensely but she doesn't seem phased from what I can hear I'm in California and they're in Georgia and they just tell me that she's smiling she's not a hundred percent conscious but when they start crying or they start hugging her she tells them not to cry and that's how she's been her whole life as long as I've known her She's always just given glory to God with a attitude of gratitude and was just so thankful not only to be alive but to share God's message through her. And regardless of the circumstances, uh, she was always just so grateful. And I, that's something I inspire to be. I would highly encourage you to read the post below and I highly encourage you to get your surfboard and your... And your uh, surfing up to par for any type of conditions not only to be able to do the trickiest moves and to perform the best but more importantly to enjoy the ride the journey is the destination baby you can't say it enough yeah it's cliche but let's say it again the mystery is the prize the challenge is the gift yeah if you like these videos and you will keep wanting me to do more like them comment below and share away baby uh happy fun day i also made a post earlier as a side note um, get Veducated, we went to the farmer's market today, I saw Jake Ducey and it reminded me to get Veducated and become a farm assist. That's farm, next word, assist, assist your farmer. Think about where that word came from. More of that on Rob Ross page. Alright, take care.